no, 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 no. Welcome to uh, Burroughs Cast with Mike Knight. Thank all of you for being here, whether you're here to listen or just to hang out or perform. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm, I can tell I rehearsed this ahead of time. Um, <laughs> We're gonna, uh, we're gonna start off tonight with uh, some comedy by AB Positive. Woo! All right, and you guys know me how I don't remember names, so it's gonna be pretty good. All right, here we go. Hey, everybody, Bruce Cask. We'll put that aside for a moment because it's not necessary. Uh, this is a really large crowd. <laughs> really, really large. <laughs> How many pet owners do we have here? Woo! Oh my god, they all showed up, all the pet owners. Everybody in Baltimore who's a pet owner showed up. There's like six of you. No, just kidding. You know, this city is made of dog owners, or pet owners. Um, how many of you have a dog? One, two, three, four, five. Cats. <laughs> We've got a few cat owners here. Um, how many of you own a bird? Not so many people own a bird. A bird. A bird. This is a true story. I had a neighbor who owned a tropical bird that he slept with every night. I don't know how you sleep with a bird every night. I would be concerned a little bit with crushing the bird, uh, you know, rolling over, but then, you know, the bird would probably be like, I'm gonna shit on your pillow. <laughs> and you wake up in the morning and you say, yeah, I'm not gonna sleep with my bird anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that many people have birds though. Anybody with an iguana? Iguana, no. No, snake, pet snake. Yeah, I'm always fascinated by the people who have boa constrictors. Like, I'm, as a pet owner, like, I want to sleep with my pet. I'm not kink shaming anyone, but like, sleeping with an animal that might choke you out might not be the thing that I want to do. But that's okay. Um, so, the thing about, I'm a dog guy. I, I I have a great dog that loves me, who has no concept of time. I go to the store to buy a pack of smokes, get a sandwich, something along those lines, and, and I say, I'm gonna be right back. And I'm back in like five minutes. And this dog is absolutely bonkers out of it. He's got zoomies, like, it's not. But then I go away to like Europe for two weeks. And my friend over here who was taking care of the dog, I walk in and he just goes, lifts his head. And he's like, oh, you. Nice. <laughs> cool. I'll talk to you when you when I bring you when you bring me snacks. <laughs> so that's how that this is just what we deal with as as pet owners. Like we all know how it is if we own a pet, like they rule our lives. Uh, everything about them step outside, they're like, oh, I'm going. And then they're like they don't do anything, they just stand there and they look at you like, what are we doing now? And I don't know what we're doing now, we're just outside because I thought you needed to go. <laughs> what are we doing? And then I go back inside and it's like, it's like, sit right down in front of the refrigerator, stare up at the milk bones, you owe me. You don't pay rent. You don't pay for the food. You didn't do anything when we were outside. Why exactly do you deserve this snack? 
And you know how it is. If you're a pet owner, you know exactly how it is, right? Because you're like, no, we're not going to do this. You didn't do anything. You didn't use the bathroom. You didn't take the key. You didn't do any of the things that you needed to do. Now you're begging for a snack. Okay, fine. I'll give you a snack. And that is exactly how they get us, right? They rule the world, and it's like, it's like, I go to bed at night, and I go up to the bed. And I'm like, oh, hey, pal, how are you doing? Take off my clothes, get ready for bed, put my pajamas on, do all the things I need to do, ba 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 ba. I'm like, are you going to make room for me in the queen-size dog bed? Because that's how it is, right? Like you, you, have, you have to earn the right to be in the bed with them. Never mind, it's your bed. They, they, they don't really understand that part. They're like, no, this is, I'm perching. This is what I'm doing. I, are you going to give me a snack to get in the bed? No. <laughs> so it's funny because like a couple years ago in my old house, uh, I was, uh, my, my bedroom was laid out in such a way that like there was basically like a foot between the bed and the wall. And I was asleep. It was three o'clock in the morning. I woke, woke up out of a dead sleep with like, I felt like I was getting licked in the face. And I was like, oh, which one of you, Poe Fender, which one of you are licking me? Open my eyes, I look, there's no dog there. There's no dog there. Like, did I just imagine that? I looked, turned, I was laying on my side, right? So I looked over, and Fender and Poe are right behind me, snorting. Like, who just fucking licked me? I have a ghost dog. And this is not, you may think I'm crazy, and I might be, but, but it is one of the most wonderful things in the world to have a ghost dog, because, and I know I had a ghost dog, because I would have the, the boys sitting with me on the, on the couch, watching TV or whatever, The Bachelor, because that's what I watch. And, um, and I would hear back and forth upstairs, a dog running back and forth, and I'd be like, the fuck? I don't have a dog. Both my dogs are right here. And 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 even they were looking like, what's going on up there? Are there treats? <laughs> so I know it wasn't just me. And then I get woken up by this ghost dog. And the greatest thing about a ghost dog is you don't have to feed them. You don't have to walk them. You don't even have to share space with them. You just they exist, and it's like well, you get a bonus dog without any other responsibility. <laughs> I learned, I learned about this ghost dog because you know in Baltimore, like these houses are like a hundred years old, right? <clears throat> Apparently, there was a guy that lived for me in the house, and he worked down at the at the docks, and apparently, he sold crack. Who does that in Baltimore? <laughs> um, and he had a pit bull whose name apparently was Sugar, which is a great name for a dog, by the way, especially when you misspell it. S U G E R. <laughs> I only know this because the concrete right in front of my door had it etched in there. Like, apparently, they said, oh, let me go ahead and carve my dog's name in there. It's all offering. It was sugar, S-U-D-E-R. So this guy, a crack dealer who wasn't very smart, apparently, um, apparently the dog died. I don't know how. R.I.P. Never want to lose pets. Um, but for some reason, sugar is now tormenting my house, haunted house <laughs> with a dog who runs back and forth. And uh, you know, the dog, my dog, didn't seem to mind all that much, but it was a little weird. It's a little strange. Um, anyways, uh, that's that's a little story about uh, about my dogs, and uh, I'm a pet lover. I'm a pet owner. If you have a chance to adopt, please do. Thank you very much. 
All right, 85 is